Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Citizen. We are in Alpha 3.17.1 right now with Alpha 3.17.2 imminent and with it will be a free fly period where you can try out the game and fly uh, I think it's six ships available to you and do whatever you like until July 15th and so it'll be free and you can find out whether your computer can run it or not, basically. Uh, or what other, whatever other frustrations you may have. But it could be fun. You never know. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you can uh, give it a go if you are so inclined. But I have decided to finally take a look at some tutorials for Star Citizen. There are many out there, but I found one that I was particularly fond of by Hawks Gaming. And I tried out the beginning of it. And so I've already done the first phase of the that tutorial and I'll link it in the video description because I thought it was a very good tutorial. And the first phase had us uh, do a contractor, a security contractor mission that basically had me stand, stand around waiting for the actual security guards to shoot everybody and then I got to pick up the loot. So I thought that was, that was easy. Um, considering I only had a pistol to begin with, and everybody else had shotguns and uh, submachine guns and such, assault rifles. Uh, it was probably best that I did not try to engage considering my normal capabilities when it comes to combat in these games. So, yeah. Uh, we are on phase two now of Hawks Gaming's tutorial and I'll show that to you. Uh, I am going to attempt mining, basically. Or at least gathering of resources. In the tutorial, uh, he asked us to locate to Ambitious Dream Station, and that is where we are. So we are proceeding there. I have taken notes from the tutorial, and we will see how well I can follow him. Okay, here we are, and let's get up. All right. Um, hmm. I seem to be stuck. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, I am very well outfitted here. I decided to get some additional armor, and uh, of course we picked up some weapons from that one contractor mission. I got some money, uh, so I decided to get a nice big backpack. Uh, the next stage of the of the tutorial suggested getting a different backpack, but I might keep this one. But yeah, you can see we are uh, very well kitted out here at the moment. Yeah, people are talking about the 3.17.2 free fly there in the little chat. Um, we apparently uh, have a hydration thing. And actually that was mentioned in the tutorial that you might want to get some food and water and such. Because you can see the little hydration thing in the bottom left there and I'm at 85%. So, Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to the refinery. This is the habitat area. I suppose we'll be going to the lobby first. They say, uh, uh oh. <laughs> um, hold on, let's try that again. Oh, it's fun already. Okay, let me see if I walk through. Okay, okay. Um,. I'd like to report a glitch. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, but it seemed like uh, Star Citizen uh, tweeted that there was a uh, free fly weekend that's gonna going to be going on today through the through July fifteenth. But in the chat, they say PTU hasn't even gone to second wave testing yet. So PTU is the test server. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It will be available soon. Okay, this elevator opens normally and we need to go to the refinery. I do not uh, have PTU access or anything like that, so... Oh, uh, this person says they think that the free fly will be with our current 3.17.1 servers. Oh, okay. Well then, there you are. But on the webpage, again, off of the Robert Space Industries website, uh, it says Alpha 3.17.2 free fly, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And this person says it's until July 18th, even though the website says 15th. <laughs> okay, is this 
I, I don't think this is the console I want. I need to find a shop terminal here in the refinery. Can we? Oh, we can climb these. Okay, good. I didn't even have to click anything. Just automatically started climbing. Oh, I, I'm just exploring right now since I haven't been here before. Did I die if I like jumped into a vat or something? Could we get a fire marshal down to decom? I like hearing people's voices like that. That's good. But I actually don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go. Maybe over there. There's a lot of medical stuff. Which is nice. I'm glad that they care about their employees here in the refinery. Okay. Um, service. That sounds like something. Mine oh, what is it? The mining support center. I, no, this is my first time. <laughs> you say that to everyone. Oh, they're just like rocks. Uh, so we are going to be mining for some of these. Uh, Dolivine ore, Aphorite. Okay, this is vintage rentals. Hey, we'll again, need some vehicles, but I need the equipment first. Wow, he says that a lot. Okay, he needs to stop saying that. I swear, these screens should be doing something, but they aren't. I am not finding everything alright. Well, maybe we can get the stuff like this. Cutter attachment. So... What was suggested is this uh, Max, Fleck, uh, Max Flex Rucksack Backpack. But I think my backpack's okay. There's also other backpacks. So we need a tractor beam. Oh, we need the mining tool. Uh, a multi-tool. So we'll buy the multi-tool. Attachments sold separately. And we need a tractor beam and orbit there's the orbit mining attachment, I'll get that. But we need a tractor beam as well. This is a cutter attachment, but that wasn't mentioned. I want a tractor beam. Okay, well, I basically got what I need except for the tractor beam. But we were supposed to have a console to buy these things from. So the Max Mac Flex backpack has 50,000 micro SCU. I've got a backpack that has 100,000, so I think I'm in better shape. Rhyme module. I don't know what these uh, modules do. Uh, OxyPen is for oxygen, and there's a medical one too. Ooh, a helix mining laser, 108,000. Well, we don't have enough for that. Well, let me try up here. I can't find where the console for buying stuff is. At least it's not in the same location that I thought it was. Well, so I can't figure out where to get the tractor beam from, so I think we're gonna have to do without. I don't know how bad that's gonna be. We'll see. But, anyway. Let us get the the gray cat and the drake cutlass. The drake cutlass being necessary to fit the gray cat in, otherwise we can't move it about. So we are going to rent that. Taking a risk here. And the drake cutlass rent. I mean, for all I know, uh, in the free fly thing, I would get the Drake Cutlass already. Okay, so now we need to get out of here and head on over to a mining location. Burrito Bar. This is where we can get some food and such. Um, okay, drink. Can I not drink? Oh, we have to remove helmets to drink, right. Great. 
so complicated. Uh, and I can't even select my helmet. Oh, there we go. May have removed helmet, but I can't even see it. All right, drink. And I dropped the cola. Nachos? I always like nachos. Can we get nachos? We can't get nachos. Shoot. Okay, burritos it is. Okay, we got a token amount of food and drink. And usually the spaceport is through security. Alright, whoops. Fleet manager. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval. Okay, so yeah, uh, I didn't actually have to get the second Cutlass Black. During the free fly, you will get a Cutlass Black. You do not have to rent one. I just wasted some money. Um, I have to claim a lot of things because they're all at my home in Norville, I suppose. Uh, let's get this Cutlass Black over here. Your insurance claim has been sent. Wow, that's a... Oh, that's the expedited fee. 3000 Well, I'm not gonna pay that. Okay, let's see if it's here now. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Okay, retrieve. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered. Okay, pad four. Cutlass black it is. Don't remember the last time I flew in one. Incidentally in the video the rental was a lot cheaper. We paid thirty thousand or so for it here, but the rental in the video uh was about fourteen thousand. And the grey cat was about a third the price too, so Ox Gaming had it easier. <laughs> I should point out now you might not oh 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 shoot I forgot my helmet I forgot my helmet I forgot my helmet I forgot my helmet okay <laughs> right uh, actually in the tutorial Hawks Gaming did mention that uh, uh, to to remember to put your helmet back on <laughs> so uh, I should I should heal myself somehow but oh well anyway okay I don't want the ramp to crush me, though. Uh, two people can be in here, I guess. Um, interpilot seat. Okay, so where we need to go is... Um... Daymar. Shubin Mining Facility on Daymar. I understand that they're uh, planning on... Oh, there it is. Can I get to the Shubin Mining Facility in particular? Uh, I understand that they're gonna improve the map, but I'm enthusiastic about that. Okay, so that's good enough for the initial route right now. Okay. Okay, gear is up. Music. Now you notice we haven't gotten the rock Thank in. You. We'll do that at Shubin Mining Facility. According to the Hawks Gaming tutorial. Though it is apparent right now that things have changed since the Hawks Gaming tutorial. I don't know why I'm looking to the left here. I guess that was the G-forces. Okay. Quantum jump to Crusader. Thankfully not the longest quantum jump that we might do because we were already basically at a Crusader Lagrange point. Of course, every every bit of money I make right now as the chat has noted um, will be wiped out basically when the update occurs the 3.17.2 update as I figure so yep yep that's the trouble with playing in alpha or beta I don't know how beta will be but definitely 
You can't expect to keep all the all the money and stuff as things get revamped. So we need to yeah, uh, that marker's already there. Daymar. Yeah, the head tilt tilts a lot for some reason. <laughs> I don't want to tilt my head like this. Can I stop tilting my head like this? Okay, where is it? It's over there. And we're gonna do another quantum jump. It's only got a cost point zero zero nine six quantum fuel. I wonder if there's something to heal me at the mining facility. Um, I guess we'll land on the pad. Okay, I think we're down. Okay, out of the wobbly seat. Instead of a jump seat back here. Oh, nice view of Crusader and everything. So, now. Building trimmed in blue is the one to get the rock. Oh, that thing is doing something. Welcome. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Grey Cat Rock. Claim. 14 seconds. But it probably doesn't have my multi tool on it, and so we can't actually use it to drill. We'll have to go back to. to our home. Oh, there's the Grey Cat. Have to go back to our home to get all that stuff again. Hatch. Hmm? Okay, entering the driver's seat. Sure hope my controls are right. Okay. Well, uh, flight ready, I guess. Oh, weapon system locked. Well, I can't really test whether it's working or not. Okay, uh, we better go into exterior view to get this in there. Yep, oh, oh, ow. Oh, okay, slowly, slowly. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. No, <laughs> no. That's not right. Oh. oh! Okay, okay, we're in, we're in. Okay. Alright. Up we go. So yeah, I don't know whether the mining laser is actually on or not, and I can't really get past it in this direction. Let's see if I can get past it in this direction. Um, I may need to jump. Okay, I can't close the hatch. Okay, now we can get through here, surely. How can we get back? Oh, okay, well, alright. All is well. Okay, so now we have to go to OEM 1 as a reference to see where our mining locations might be. So, so where is OEM 1? <laughs> well, there must be plenty of. There's a 
Kudra ore right there. I don't think that's the ore that we are looking for, but... Let's just go up and come back down and see what we can see. Maybe that's a bad thing. I can't find where this OEM-1 is. Up we go. I mean, maybe we can just float around here and see. I don't know if there's anything around here. Scanning mode is V. And then tab to ping. Maybe we can get a little bit more height. Terrain sure does look nice. Oh, there's a little box icon there. Well, let's see. Box icon is what we're looking for. But obviously this is not the best place to mine. It's like right close to the mining facility. If we all mined out, we should be going somewhere else. But for my first try, I don't mind it being, you know, spare in the results. Okay. Engine's off. Alright, let's see if we can do things. Let's open the door first. Yeah, just really nice terrain. We are on the ground again. Okay, so activating mining layers is M. Okay. Okay, we've got a mining mode. There's the rock over there. Press the V scan. Oh, there's other ones too around. Laser intensity. Oh, yeah, we can use the scroll wheel to increase the intensity. Maybe this is a bad rock. I'm gonna guess this is not my kind of rock. But alright. Um, let's go into scan mode and find more rocks. There's another thing over there. Oh, I am drifting. They're supposed to change icon from the box if it's a good one. Oh, where did it go? Shoot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I mean, there are other rocks that aren't, are clearly not mineable. Right click to change mode. Now there's an extraction mode. There's a fracturing mode and an extraction mode. Oh, well, that looks like it's changed icon over there. Okay, it's these rocks here. Okay, we don't want it in... Oh, there's extraction mode. So, I don't want. Okay. Well, it looks molten to me. Oh, I guess we just don't have much power. Uh, something's happening to the rock for sure. Well, break Warning. it, darn it. Power critical. Warning. Power critical. Warning. Power critical. 
Oh, it broke. Okay. How do we get things? Okay, I guess extraction mode? Extraction mode. Oh. I, it's extraction mode that... Oops, I did not want that. Uh, extraction mode, left click to collect. But I don't see what we were supposed to collect. It was supposed to be aphorite, which I think is collectible. Uh, maybe you have to be scanning for it. Do they all go down there? I can't figure out where the bits are. I don't know. Maybe I did that rock wrong since I didn't get anything out of it. Uh, okay, that was operating differently than I expected. Maybe I just have to wait for it. It's making some noise and everything. Uh, okay, well, change mode. Is there anything to extract around here? Well, maybe they... I was warned that they might roll down, but... It doesn't seem to have any scan results for this. Oh, the, the, it's actually over there. Oh, so it's not this rock, it's that thing. And that... Maybe that's a bit that I can pick up. Extraction. Oh, I think I picked that up. Okay. We have picked up a tiny little bit. I think these are little bits that I actually fractured before that rolled down, maybe? Uh, I don't know if that worked right. I don't know if I've gotten anything. <laughs> but I think that's what it is. They rolled all the way down. And th the tutorial mentioned this, that if you go after something on a hill, it'll just all roll down. So it's better to do it at low level, so that they just all end up at the bottom, but... Well, we do have some cargo. 0.2 CSCU of Aphorite. I'm guessing that doesn't, that isn't worth much. Oh, uh, maybe this isn't one? Oh, no, we... Uh, well, I don't know what happened to it. Oh, 0.3, yeah, we have 0.3. So, we are definitely- we need the tractor beam for one thing. But I didn't know where to get that from. We've got a trivial amount of aphorite. That's the big rock. I wanted to- let's get to all the other little rocks that I have- I'm entitled to because of my efforts. But boy, do they end up really far away, huh? This is obviously not an optimal way of doing it. But it was my first experience, so... Uh, we got 0.4, alright. They're, they're 0.1 each. 0.1 CSCU. So, so alright, I mean, uh, let's, let's get this one. Let me try a lower level. Okay, is it gonna break, or do I have to put on more power? We're pretty close to optimal power according to the right bar there. Okay, that exploded. Um, I guess we should scan first. Um, I don't know if there's any little bits. <laughs> uh, I might have all flown away. I'm definitely not doing this right. Well, we've got 0.4 CSCU of Aphorite, which is admittedly nothing, but... We are going to see if that's any good. Let's see how much money we make out of it. This is definitely also not the intended location. We were not supposed to. Whoa, I spun, spun around. We were not supposed to be mining here necessarily. 
Okay, getting back into the ship. Okay, now can I get to the right distance so that I can get out and close the door? Oh, now I can slip by and close the door. Good times. Okay, I wanted to actually go back all the way to home because I left all my stuff there anyway. Up we go. And incidentally, yes, you can hide the in-game chat with F12, so no problems if it's not to your liking. So, according to the tutorial, we have to mine until we get 2.1 million credits, and then we'd be ready for the next method of money making. But I get the strange feeling I'm nowhere near that. But that's fine. We'll have plenty of opportunity. And of course, uh, it'll all be wiped out on the next update anyway, so let's not get too enthusiastic. But it's good to have the experience of how to mine and uh, improve upon it a little bit more. I clearly need the improvement. And then next time, uh, in future updates, it'll be easier. I think it's a pad and I'm upside down. Okay, I think that's how it is. There is an auto land thing, but I never use it because I'm morally against such things. If I can help it. Okay. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Maybe I'll read that I have that point four. I know it's tiny, but I mean, for a first attempt, we can just see if we get it. So I was supposed to sell at the admin office in the Galleria, so that's where we're headed. I wonder what that hatch in 13 million kilometers away is. It's an interesting question, isn't it? Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I have glitched. I didn't even step into the elevator or anything. Can't see anything. Oh, okay. Well, uh, maybe I can salvage the situation. I don't know. I'm inside the collider. <laughs> oh, somehow I got through. Oh. Okay, uh, I don't want to lose all my stuff that I purchased. I guess I'm getting injured or something. Oh, this was another F4. I pressed F4 and I'm here. Uh, oh, I'm not surviving very well. I've got an injury to my arm. I think my arm is leaking. Well, it is what it is, folks. Uh, can I change? Uh, oh, I can put stuff in my. Ah! Oh, oh, I almost. I I could have put stuff from my backpack into the station. Ah! Oh. Can I? Can I still? Ah! Oh. I could have saved my stuff, but I didn't. I'll just revive. Okay, we are wake waking up. We better be on an ambitious dream station though. Well, my backpack still has the stuff in. Okay, so we don't lose everything like that. I won't equip the weapons just yet. Okay. So, not all, all too bad, I could have lost everything on dying or something. Now, I guess the admin is up there. Trading and shipping console? 
Um, Cutlass Black. Oh, that's buying, selling. Um, I have some. My, I have my backpack. Oh, Great Cat. Here we go. All right, Aphrodite. Uh, well, we have four units, so that was the point four C SCU, and it looks like we get six hundred and ten from that. Now again, I didn't do it right, and I still have to figure out how to get the mining attachments and the, on the multi-tool and all that business to work out for me. But even though I did everything wrong, we still got six hundred and ten out of it. So my first attempt at mining. We got a precious tiny little bit, and we have sold it. So I'm going to take that for now and work on optimizing this thing. I'll take a look at the tutorial again, but it's going to be probably a long way until 2.1 million, but we will, uh, we will see. All right. So anyway, with that, my first experience mining in the game. I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.